how would you describe what UCLA does on defense? What do they do well? Um, they've certainly got a really good front seven. Um, good group of guys, good group of pass rushers. You know, they're real athletic. Um, they've got good skill sets and good moves, so that's certainly a challenge. Um, but yeah. How I mean, communication is important every week, but how important is it this week? Certainly, always, always important, like you said. And again, it'll be. You know, important as ever this weekend, given the different fronts they use and the different blitzes they bring and stuff. So just stand on top of our preparation and uh, communication so that we can all be thinking the same thing and, and uh, executing. What do you take away from the Oregon game and kind of what's the emphasis after that loss? Yeah, obviously, you know, didn't go, didn't go the way we wanted it to, you know, disappointing and in a few facets, but, um, you know, real, real frustrating one, but, uh, you just you just take away kind of the takeaways that we've had you know over the last couple of weeks. It's just like we've got to be better. We've got to we've got to practice better. We've got to ultimately execute better on Saturdays. You know we can have great practices and all that, but at the end of the day, we've got to execute better on Saturdays and and uh, yeah, just get the job done. How would you describe the season overall? Um, I, you know, season overall has been tough. Obviously, it's been disappointing. You never want. Uh, you know, the losses that we have, but, um, you know, given that, I think our team's done a good job of sticking together. You know, I don't think guys have quit on the team. I don't think guys have quit on themselves, which is a big thing when, you know, you're a program with big expectations and everyone wants to do it and we think we can do it and we're, we're working hard to do it and then we don't. Um, so I'm proud of our guys for that, but it, it doesn't make it any less tough and less disappointing. As a leader on this team, how do you keep that mindset, keep everyone together? Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's there's still there's still things we got to do. I mean, we've got a this is our rival game, right? This is this is our, a lot of seniors. This is their last game of the year. Like we're still playing for a lot this weekend, and and you know, anytime you get to go on the field, whether it's practice or a game, you know, we've got competitors. And when you're a competitor, you want to win. Obviously, you want to always put your best foot forward and give it your all. And you know, if you're not striving to do that, then you know, there's no point in doing it. So um, I'd say that's the main thing. Is just you're always striving to compete, win, and get better. I think, you know, when you look at when we do run the ball well, it always starts with two things, physicality and technique. If you've got both of those things working for you, you're usually going to execute the best. Then. Um, obviously, getting into good looks, coaches do a great job of that, getting us into good looks and, and uh, you know, plus situations. But at the end of the day, it's physicality and technique. You've got to have those two things. Left tackle didn't seem to be kind of in your future. Looking back, what is playing out there done for you? Um, you know, I played right tackle last year, so I wouldn't say it's changed a bunch. Uh, you know, it's just forced me to kind of adapt a little more this year, uh, rather than just stay in a spot I was comfortable with. It just kind of forced me to adapt and uh, change up my body a little bit, and and obviously learn new things and, and teach myself how to do new things. But overall, you know, it's I'm still playing tackle and. Uh, in this offense, so you know, a little bit of both, a little bit of comfort, a little bit of new at the same time. Looking back at this year, what do you feel like is kind of the biggest lesson you've taken? Very good question. Um, well, I, I wouldn't say I'm looking back on it yet because I'm still in the middle of it, so I don't know if I can have this silver lining <laughs> takeaway of it quite yet. I'm still kind of tunnel vision on just working hard and and trying to you know get better and get our best product out there for this big game on Saturday, but um. I'm sure there will be, a, you know, a glaring takeaway or lesson when when I do step back and look at the year. As I said earlier, it's been tough, but just, you know, trying to do everything we can to keep working hard and and, and be able to play better. If this end, if this ends up being Caleb's last game, what would you take away just from having played with him these last couple of years about him? Um, just extremely thankful for the player and person that he is, and the teammate he is, and the leader he is. Um, love the guy to death. Appreciate all that he's given. Uh, to this program, to us as a team, and to himself. You know, he's earned everything he's got. Um, yeah, that's what I would say. Thank you, John. Thanks, John. Thanks, guys.